Let me take a drink. Let me take a drink. Have a drink. Have one for me. You know why? Because the bar bar is is open. Sit back, grab a cold one, and get ready for the news you didn't even know you needed. From the frozen wasteland of western North Dakota to the tropical playground of Florida, it's time for tales of wonder and amazement. Put the kids to bed and pour yourself a drink. Lock the doors and close the blinds. Break out the cocaine and hookers. It's time for happy hour news. Welcome to Fuck Back, Sanchez. How the fuck you doing tonight? You know, better than I was last week. We're on video again. Yep. Hey, everybody. We're here. I got to give a quick shout out to Tales from the Podcast. Two guys, one crip. I'm wearing their fucking shirt tonight. I just got in the mail. And I got a sticker on my fucking laptop. Sanchez here put his on your front door, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I I put most of my stickers on my front door. So when them, uh, you know, them... uh, them Jesus people come up. They they, they just they, don't. Well, yeah, they just don't. <laughs> they get about that far, and then they turn around and go. But, yeah, I want to give a shout-out to JB and Mr. Chuck Nasty and Mr. Uncle Ron out there. They they do a video horror podcast uh, movie review. Not like your normal movie review, but this one is fucking cool. They just had on, a, I forget the fuck her name, but she was, in, she was Barbara on the Night of the Living Dead remake. I don't watch those movies. Good, because I do. <laughs> and uh, that was a fucking hell of an interview, man. That was pretty fucking good. And. Swank in the bus. Swank in the bus. Mr. Greg Pedix. This is his comic book right here. And I got to tell you, I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to. You know, and the thing is, is he he was one of our, our guests on a couple of weeks ago, and he told us that the way they did this was he just wrote the script out and then he turned it over to his buddy who would write the, the comic around He illustrated that, it. Illustrated around that. Yeah. And it's, I can tell you, if that's the way it went down, the guy's good. <laughs> yeah, it's because pretty it's, fucking good. This is stream old school of, comic Stream of conscience book. shit. Yeah. Stream of conscious underground shit, and it's great. And I hope everybody enjoyed our uh, three-part special with uh, Matt, Greg, and Brendan because they're going to be coming on for our 100th episode it's going to be close to Halloween. Huh? It is on Halloween. On Halloween. And my boy Chuck Nasty and Josh, they're going to be they're going to be on also Bastard Sons of a Judas Goat. And I'm hoping to get Screaming Chewy on. We can have an hour and a half special. That would be great. I might even break down and have a drink for that one. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, I might. Okay. I might not. And you might not. I, I might ain't gonna not. hold my fucking breath because we all know your maybes and whatnots, and they are exactly who, that maybes and whatnots and whatnots and 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 what. I don't think so. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. I hope everybody out there in podcast land and now video podcast land is having a great fucking time. I am over my fucking cold. Might have been COVID. Might not have been. That wasn't COVID. And Sanchez, he's looks sounds like he's over his cold, but yeah, he's still going to break his goddamn wire there. It's my Mr. wire. If I want to fucking break it, I'll break it, Mr. all right? fidgety pants over here. That's what happens when you try to do this shit sober. <laughs> <laughs> That's your choice, buddy. Yeah, well, in, in case I, nobody's wondering, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm off the sauce so I can lose some weight. Because <laughs> I can either eat or drink. Can't do both. I can't do both. Uh, but I want to give a fucking special heartfelt shout out to Shuby oh, and his woman, Shuby, yeah. Dana. They both got the COVID right now, and he called me up and said, "Dude, I was in contact with you guys. You better watch out." I'm like, "I ain't fucking worried." My boy Sanchez vaccinated. I got his antibodies. Yeah. <laughs> By osmosis. <laughs> By osmosis. That's how we work around here. Bars open. Bar is open. And I want to give a special shout out to that old band that you heard at the beginning of the show. That was Group Therapy. That was my old band from back in the day. And we have some good tunes, but I'm only going to play that little bit for you because that's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. That's all you fucking get. So what the hell you been up to, Sanchez? Well, you know, I had been had a pretty fair week. The cold's kind of let up on me. I'm uh, doing the diet thing. 
I'm that's dro- good. Dropping an average a pound a day, which is pretty drastic. So what's your goal to start drinking with us again? Well, I'd like to hit 250. Well, how many more pounds is that? That's 20 more pounds. So if you've been dropping a pound a day, and you've been saying 20 pounds for the last two well, weeks. Well, I started out at 300, all right? I don't care what you started at. The last two weeks, you said at, pa- at 20 pounds, you were going to start drinking with me again. I, hey, I lied. I lied, <laughs> right? I lied. But you it, fucking if, lied. If, if I can hit 250, I'll be pretty fucking happy. Because ah, I, I won't, will not have weighed that much for almost three years now. I'm surprised I'm in as good as mood as I am right now. Because lately, work has drugged me fucking down. Let me tell you, I plan on quitting that fucking job soon, and I don't care about saying that on the air because I know those fucking guys don't listen. There ain't nobody listening to our shit. What? There ain't nobody listening to our shit. Well, you got talking to the mic, Sanchez. No. Yeah, you got to have a brain. And want to listen to what other people have to say if you're going to listen to fucking podcasts. They hope they ain't listening to our shit. <laughs> what are they going to do? Fire me? Then yeah. I get unemployment. Yeah. What the fuck ever. No, but late, I'm burnt out. I am fucking burnt out of my job. I haven't had a vacation, an honest vacation in close to three years. And that's not fucking good. No, it's not good. Every time I try to take vacation, they say... Well, get back to me next week. We'll see what's going on. You know what that tells me? That tells me that I'm good to take vacation, but they want to make sure that nothing else comes up so they can keep me fucking there. Well, it's they just don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. If they cared, they would say, dude, why aren't you going to take some vacation? Don't you think you need some time off? Because they don't care about you. They care about their bottom line. Yep. You know, and you also got to remember that you don't have a job or you don't have a life so you can have a job. You have a job so you can have a life. Yeah. You don't live you to know? work or you work to live. Right. I was hoping I didn't say that backwards. <laughs> sound like a fucking idiot. We are pretty burnt out. I am. I, I come home and I am just, I'm a zombie unless I can have a couple drinks. It's, I just, I'm not me. I used to love what the fuck I did, you know? I love welding. I I got a compliment the other day from this truck driver. Yeah. He goes, holy fuck, dude, that looks brand new. Well, you are. You're an outstanding welder. And I was like, that's what I do, man. I I, And then my boss looked at it. He goes, yeah, that'll have to do. Yeah, well. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Anyways, fuck him. Fuck if anybody out there in podcast <laughs> land is dealing with the same shit I am, don't be afraid to say fuck them and walk away. That's right. Your fucking mental health is way more important than their fucking bottom line. So. So, how about some Florida man? We got some Florida man. We had an interview with a Florida man last weekend. Yeah, we did. Or last week. Last it week. wasn't a Florida man. It was a guy in Florida. It, we, we touched on Florida a little bit. And, hold on, before we stick to this Florida man okay. segment. I, uh. Uh, my buddy and I, we had to go out on a field job on Monday, I think it was, or Tuesday. And uh, we worked with these guys. It was a three-man crew. And they, they do these rock sculptures for pools. Okay. And, like, backyard, like, grottos. I mean, it's foam, but it's covered in styrofoam. Oh, okay, yeah. It's concrete. It's these full, full, full rock sculptures. Yeah. And this guy, he was from Florida. Oh, yeah? He's like, I'm like, dude, you from Pensacola? He's like, yeah. I'm like, dude, I went to A school. Oh, you went to NAS. I'm like, yeah. And then we kind of got talking about Florida, and then we talk about Pinellas County and Pasco, and he's like, dude, your buddy down there in Pinellas, he, he's right. He goes, you go across the county line, and it's a different country yeah. pretty much. It's like Redneck City, huh? Well, it's just it's different from it's different. <laughs> from what you were in. I mean, it's... Well, it's rural. It's, it's like, it's like it's moving different. From, from Denver to Bismarck, you know? Well, could you actually go from, like, Denver, well, I guess back in the day, then to Loveland, which weren't connected, but now are connected. Yeah. Something yeah, used, like used that. It used to be an hour drive yeah. from Loveland to Denver. But now When I moved here, it was like moving to another country. I moved here from, from a college town in Oregon. Hippie city. Everybody had long hair and beads. There was a, a troll living under every bridge. You know, there was every street corner had some... You know, no good Nick standing on it with a sign, you know, spare changing and uh, begging for money. 
there was probably 18 places you could get a free meal just about any time of day. You know, it was just, hey, man, peace, love. I moved out here. The nearest fucking store is 25 miles away. <laughs> ain't nobody giving you shit for nothing. No. And there ain't nobody standing on a street corner because in the wintertime you will die. Yep. Yep. That's how it is here. I mean, you know, I mean it was it was a bit of a culture. Night shock. and day difference, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now what do we got for a Florida man? Well, we got this Florida man was worried about vampires. Right? Vampires? Yeah. He's, it's almost Halloween time. It must be. So uh, what does he do? He burns down his he house. He burns down his house. <laughs> he can't get in. <laughs> well, vampires can only come in if you invite them. And if you burn down your fucking house. They ain't coming in. Well, you don't have a house. So yeah. They're coming in. I'd say that's pretty. No, they can't come into a place that doesn't exist. Well, yes, yeah, so you're fucked. You're fucked. Because you don't no longer have Was a house. he in it when he burned it down? Well, it says here the uh, a Daytona Beach man was arrested this week after police said he burned down his house after screaming about vampires. <laughs> no got, he, 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 he faces charges of aggravated battery and arson on the vampires. Daytona uh. Beach police said Weaver's wife. Sought to have him committed for mental health reasons. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got there around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. He was acting, says Weird. he was acting rationally, <laughs> but I think that's a, a typo. Irrationally. Yeah. yeah. And police determined that he could not be involuntarily. Oh, he was acting rationally. He couldn't be involuntarily committed. Committed? Committed under the state's Baker Act. Ah. So he couldn't be committed? He couldn't be because he was, when they showed up, he was acting rationally. Not irrationally. Uh, rationally. But his house is burned down. Well. He burned it down. By 7 p.m. Okay. <laughs> was he standing outside with the garden All right, hose? Well, I don't think he had burned the house yet. I think oh. this is just the wife calling to say, see oh, if this had motherfucker is about to burn the house down. Running around talking about the vampires. Okay. And by 7 p.m., Weaver grew angry and began hitting his wife and breaking windows with his cane. The vampires are going to defend themselves, he shouted, according to the arrest report. He then set fire to the home, throwing ceiling insulation onto the stove. His wife was in the house at the time of the fire, but she managed to escape unharmed did they have any kids uh, i'm thinking the guy looks kind of oldish grandkids yeah it may be grandkids i don't think there's any in the house it didn't say the house was completely destroyed in the fire so were the vampires obviously yeah. <laughs> i wonder if they finally got him in the hospital he can burn down that fucking hospital maybe he was that guy smoking crack in the hospital and burned down the emergency room i think that was a little while ago wasn't it i don't know yeah what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, you so got another Florida got man? Another Florida back-to-back, -back, buddy. Florida man, 70. Slams child because playground was too noisy. <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker slammed down a 10-year-old. Yep. Because he had a problem with the kids playing. They were over like there making kids. too much noise. Like kids do. They play, and they hoot and holler. Just a little bit ago, we had my, my girl upstairs, and her little friend from across the street was playing. Within the first 30 seconds, I wanted to pull my fucking hair out. Yeah. So it's, you know, I, I can handle the, the thumping and the bumping and even the giggling, but that's screaming. Holy cats. It well, just... she got wound up. She got pretty fucking excited. Yeah. She had a friend here to play. Yeah, well, that doesn't happen all the time. Could you imagine long. 10 of them in a <laughs> playground? That's, well, in a playground, yeah. And then fucking, what was he, your age? Come outside. Get off my lawn. Yeah, get off my lawn. <laughs> Come Body here, slam. Shit in. <laughs> so what's the story? Well, it, does, it doesn't say a whole lot about it other than uh, uh, they arrested the guy on child abuse charges in Florida, Clearwater, took him to the Pinellas County Jail. Officials say there were several kids having fun at the playground around 6.30 p.m. when the man stomped out of his nearby apartment annoyed at the noise. 6.30. Yeah, picked, picked up a 10-year-old child by the shirt and slammed the kid to the ground. <laughs> Jesus fuck, man. But the kid wasn't seriously hurt. But, yeah, the guy got caught. Well, off. I tell you what, if that was my kid, that old man would be seriously fucking hurt. Oh, yeah, hurt. yeah. No, there's no and doubt And if I would have been there to witness that. Yeah. This and is where? Clearwater? Even, yep. Brandon! Clearwater. 
Let us know, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know, buddy. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't even have to been my kid. If I saw anybody yeah. pick up a kid like True. that and throw him down, yeah. I'd, I'd probably be in jail, but that's do okay. Something. I wouldn't mind. Exactly. What's next? I don't know. Oh, well, you're the I, one with the stories. I, I won't turn on I'm the, here. Turn on the, the That monitor. ain't going to help me find stories. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> so Netflix is going to do a, oh, a that's right. Florida Man series. We brought this right? up a, a while ago that Netflix was doing a Florida yeah. Man series. Where is it filmed? North Carolina. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to film it in Florida? Well, I'm sure there's a plethora of reasons why they don't want to do it in Florida. Probably the first reason is they don't want to have to deal with Florida men. You know what but I mean? But that's the show. Yeah, but the thing is, is if you're trying to do a show about Florida man and it's everything's got to be serious, the last thing in the world is you want some out of fucking control Florida man breaking onto your side. That would be the first thing you <laughs> wanted. That'd be <laughs> the first is, thing I fucking want. This is not like a documentary. This is like a drama series. Oh, I right? thought it was a documentary no. about the crazy shit going on. No, 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 no. Read Sanchez. Okay. I got to tilt my screen a little bit. <laughs> the moonlight set on Florida's movie industry five years ago, turning the Sunshine State into a quiet place for cinematic themed business opportunities. What? So evidently, yeah, Florida pissed somebody C- off. Cinematic business opportunities. Yeah. Well, nobody in, wants to make their movies there in Florida. Yeah. Maybe they're because they're required to wear a mask or not no. wear a mask. I don't. I, no, I think it's been happening for longer than that. I think what it was is the the. The people in Florida, the the city governments, they just wanted way too much money. They wanted too big of a oh, cut for of, like the, a, of the action, you know? For like fees and licenses yeah, see, the, and permits. Georgia, the state of Georgia and the movie industry had a really nice deal where, the, you know, Georgia would get uh, like a, a bonus to its tourist industry every time they would make a movie, like a big blockbuster movie in Florida. They would advertise Georgia. the shit out of or Georgia, yeah. And uh, it was really cheap for them to make their movies there because they it actually did bring a lot of income to the state of Georgia. So what's wrong with that? There's nothing. But not, but Florida says, no, if you're going to make movies here, we want a cut. We just want straight cut of money. Is that what it says? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not what it says here, but I, I, I remember reading about that. <laughs> All right, so Florida Man stars Emmy-nominated Edgar Ramirez, star of Netflix's Yes Day. I haven't seen it. And Jennifer Garner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Is she the Florida woman? Official Netflix description. Is she going to be Vanessa? (laughs) That would be cool. Jennifer Garner. Yeah. A little old. I wouldn't mind seeing Jennifer Garner flick her bean. Yeah, I don't don't, don't know. Yeah. Uh, The official Netflix description of the show is, is spot on Florida man. The meme of all things in the state nutty even has its own Twitter feed in Florida man. When a struggling ex cop is forced to return to his home state of Florida to find a Philly mobsters runaway girlfriend, what should be a quick gig becomes a spiraling journey into buried family secrets and increasingly futile attempts to do the right thing in a place with so much wrong. Yeah, so it's it's not going to be like it's a, not going to be like our show, right. like our <laughs> Florida Man show. It's you, you was thinking like what do they call that? Yes, like reality TV. Yes, show? Yeah, well, no. semi reality. Yeah, the only reality TV show that I've ever seen is Cops. Well, there's like this Survivor thing. Yeah, but that's see, not is, that's it's not, not reality. That's scripted reality. That's scripted. Yeah. Cops is. All right, we're going to go drive around. What the fuck? Well, it and turns then, out that... Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Some of that stuff was kind of scripted. They would try to dis- they would like make a, a plan as to where they were going to go because they knew if they went to certain places, well, yeah. there was always something. Well, they exactly. no, might not normally be doing that that day, but when you got the, the camera in the car, you know. Same thing with... Uh, what was that one that was just on A&E? Uh any i don't have yeah, cable. live police or some shit oh like live pd live pd yeah that was kind of yeah. good yeah I don't but know. you know they got kicked out of a, you know a few places because uh the cops weren't actually behaving <laughs> like they're supposed to and they got like oh, a bunch of lawsuits you mean, because the you shit mean was, they were 
behaving like they really do. Yeah, like they really do. And then, <laughs> yeah. uh, so the police department said, "You know what? I don't think well, we need this kind of publicity anymore." Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cancel this show right now. So you got a poor guy, don't you? I don't know. Yeah. Well, which one is it? That lottery winner, guy with lottery ticket, ends up drowning, and they find the lottery ticket in his pocket. I didn't see that one in my list. Well, revise your fucking list. Well, I mean, God, I only got 40 fucking stories up here. Well, I got one about a masturbating woman licked and pleasure herself on an officer's arm. Is this another Florida one? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. this first half of video, audio, whatever, is going to be Florida Ganza. I guess. Florida Ganza. Florgasm. So, uh, Nicole, Florida. check out this name. Yeah. Nicole, check out this picture. Nicole <laughs> Shankster. Yeah, I'll shank her. 34 years old. God damn, she's hot. Yeah, she's not bad looking. She's got that. We haven't seen all of her, though. I don't care. You know, I thought Vanessa was not bad looking either, but then I saw a couple of other pictures. (laughs) A a little ganky. She was fucking hit with every goddamn stick on the ugly tree. That's right. Well, check out this girl right here. We're going to put her up on on the old monitor. Yeah, they're she ain't bad looking. She's got those Betty Davis eyes. Yeah, she looks like she's high as shit. I know. That means she ain't going to remember that the fuck so, I do So, uh, it turns out that there's better ways to meet the police than this. Uh, okay, we got... Yeah, that's my dog because, yep. you know, people need to come through the door. Yep. It's, he's a good dog. I mean, he takes good care of you guys. He's my brinks. Ain't nobody sneaking in. He's my brinks. Okay, so uh, she was pleasuring herself on a cop's arm. So her name is Nicole Shanks. She's 34. All right, people, picture this. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. That reminds me of a joke. Oh, yeah. Was she yeah. humping the cop's arm? I think so, yeah. How do you get a dog from stop humping your leg? You stick your thumb up his ass, don't no, you? No, you suck his dick. Oh, gee. <laughs> okay. That's, that's all right. I guess. Yeah, all cop right. said, uh, Shanks are acted out that day. And by acted out, we mean masturbated. A <laughs> police officer said she tried to stop her, but the suspect did intentionally sexually satisfy herself on my left arm and lick my right arm while I was restraining her from masturbating while in police custody. It sounds like he was giving her a hug. A her. <laughs> the cop? Yeah. The cop was a her? Yeah. Okay, sounds like she was giving her a hug. Yeah. And the suspect kind of took it to the next level. Well, she... uh. That's next level she, bullshit. She got right an there. intoxication charge, which no is a shit. second degree misdemeanor. Uh, it's, for just being drunk? She should get 60 days in jail for that, but the battery charge is a little bit heavier. Battery? Yeah. You just got off on her. Well, you know, it's, it's, I guess she didn't appreciate it very much. I bet she didn't get a reach around. Well, she didn't get off <laughs> and she got fucking pissed. She got pissed, yeah. Yep. She got pissed. Get the fuck off my arm, you fucking bitch. I am getting off on your arm. <laughs> I am getting off. Yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> she's in the who's gal now. In the jailhouse now. That's hey, right. find that fucking poor guy story. Well, let me get... Well, maybe we'll do that for the second half. Talk what else you got? the camera. What else you got? We'll get it for the I, second half. I got half. tons of shit here, buddy. I know. How many fucking tabs uh, you got open? Commander Cody died. Yeah. 77 years old. Well, I guess somebody, you know, kept driving that Hot Rod Lincoln. Yeah, I used yeah. to have one of his albums. It's pretty good. I mean, if you like that that uh, that swing music. Manic, 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 yep. manic, oh, Dollar manic, Tree, manic. Matt. Matt. <laughs> hey, yeah, Mr. Fumble you Penis yourself. Do? Yeah. So the tree, the Dollar Tree, a dollar for everything, not anymore. What the fuck's happening with that? What happened? Well, evidently, their shipping prices have have gotten out of control well you know what so it what is they're, what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to open up a new section called dollar tree plus plus so, more yeah money. so things will be like five dollars in that section it's going to be more like a family dollar now it's probably going to be more like that yeah well what i heard you know you know everybody was all freaking out because of the toilet paper and everybody's buying it up you know what it actually is there's not a shortage of toilet paper anywhere it's a shortage of truck drivers Oh yeah, no, that's yeah. It was it was a uh, uh, delivery stuff. It was yeah. uh, logistics, it was, and that's why you know I just saw an article about the U.S. mail. The postal service is going to start to slow down because there's a shortage of post office drivers. No, no, this and is, the this school is, bus systems. This is there's a, a shortage of bus drivers. This is a ten year plan. 
Oh, here we go. Conspiracy theory, Sanchez. No, it's it, it it's it's that's what it is. Okay, it's it, it's, it's been well publicized that they've they're, they're in, in instigating a ten year plan to intentionally slow down the mail. Okay, and raise prices. And aliens are real. Dude, this is the official <laughs> United States Postal Service release. I just read it yesterday. Why didn't you have that story up? Because it's who the fuck wants to hear about that shit? We got oh, Florida. We're talking man. about it now. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah. But, but it's not. It's not because there's you can't get postal delivery people or anything like that. They're doing this on purpose, saying that it's going to better serve the the public. That's their reasoning. We will right. see. So that's, we'll you know, probably but for I'm the just same saying, reason that they, dis- they they destroyed $47 million worth of postal store equipment. Destroyed it. Didn't just take it out. They destroyed it. Okay. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> Rotten bastards. So anyway, yeah, dollar dollar generals, or I mean, uh, not dollar general. It's going to uh, be a dollar general. Yeah, probably. Except, you know, the thing about dollar general is, is they they've got the same thing in every store. Yeah. All right. You know, where the Dollar Trees, they don't necessarily have the same thing in every store. All right. They get, you know, they have buyers that, depending on where the stuff comes from and what's available, they'll ship like, you know, 20 cases of a certain kind of soft drink to this store and then 10 cases of a different kind of lunch meat to this store, you know, until it's gone. Because what, what they do is they buy salvage most. <laughs> and, well, that's, that's what it is. It's salvage hey, food. Are you going to eat that? Yeah. Well, it's it's like food left over, like from a from a uh, prisons. No, from like a, a, a trucking accident or a shipping <laughs> accident, or you don't know this. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but the Dollar so, General. They, so the last time you heard about a fucking uh, like a monster truck or a fucking uh, a, a cargo truck spilling its goods on the fucking highway. Dollar Tree is right behind him no, with a fucking like shovel, it's, it's, picking him up and saying, I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> so yuck, what, yuck, that's yuck, not yuck. what it is. It's like when a truck goes to make a delivery. And they crash? And, and they look at the at the stuff and they say, we're refusing this delivery. Send it to the tree. Yep, send it to the tree. <laughs> and then they, they, have, they have major auctions. <laughs> Dude, you laugh like you don't believe this shit. <laughs> They I have, laugh because it's fucking funny. They have big auctions where they sell all this salvage stuff off. To the Dollar Tree. Yeah, there used to be just salvage stores before they, <laughs> they they incorporated things into the Dollar Trees and things like that, dollar stores, where you would go and there would be like, you know, tons and tons, like crates. <laughs> like half of them would be all crushed and stuff. Chiller of the week. Yeah. <laughs> More dumb step shit we can eat. That's right. Chiller of the week. Then there used to be. Hey, Matt. There used to be five and dime stores. I'm upstairs. <laughs> right, Matt. <laughs> I love your show, man. Everybody out there, if you don't know what we're talking about with the tree and Matt, listen to the Fumble Penis podcast. You will or will not regret it. What else we got, Sanchez? We got. Let's see. Oh, this guy, we, we did a story a few years ago about this guy that had a bumper sticker on his uh, truck down in Florida. It said, I eat ass. It was a guy. A guy, yeah. A man, okay. a guy, his name, uh, his name is Dylan Shane Webb. And so they arrested him for it. This cop said, nope, that's, that's profane. I ain't going to let you put that on there. I want you to take it off. So... The guy didn't. He said, no, I ain't fucking taking it off. You, first Amendment, motherfucker. My First Amendment right. So the cop charged him with uh, having the, the lewd bumper sticker and uh, resisting an officer for not taking it off. All right, so they... Or it, disobeying well, a direct order or some no, shit like well, that. He, the, yeah, the cop told him that, that uh, you need to take it off, and he said no, so he's charged him with resisting, which is a total fucking dick move. But anyway, but course, what did the well, federal judge say? Well, the charges were dropped because the DA said, no, 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 no. It's fucking First Amendment. You can't, you know, we can't charge him for that shit. It's never going to go, never going to fly. Well, the guy wanted to sue the cop, right? So that went to court in front of a federal judge, and the federal judge says, well, wait a minute. 
I don't think I don't think that's protected under the First Amendment per the Florida, you know, uh, profanity law. So uh, the well, cop, the what cop I understand from that is uh, what I've been told from other cops here in North Dakota is if it offends somebody, it's against the law. No, no. See, that's the whole thing about the First Amendment. It protects speech that offends people. There is no right in the United States to not be offended. Okay. So, but what they, what their specific law says is that if it uh, describes or shows or depicts a sexual act, that is not First Amendment protected speech. So the judge is saying that, well, because it says I eat ass, it's depicting or, or describing a sexual act. So that's, what if that's, they would just say, I toss salads? That probably would be too vague to, uh, to say that it's not protected. Or, I mean, the thing is, is it doesn't say I toss salads or, or I you know, fertilize eggs or anything. What it says was, I eat ass. <laughs> what if he eats donkeys? Well, maybe he would have to, uh, you know, clarify, why specify it? Why specify? I think that he should be able to do yeah. it himself. Yeah. Well, I I've mean, seen tons of fucking bumper stickers and shit that have questionable fucking things on it, and I can't think of them offhand. But a caption underneath, like on Facebook, would say, "Well, what would be your first thought?" Is like, "Well, it's the First Amendment, right? Who gives a fuck, right?" But that's if, something to remember: is that no, in America, nobody has the right to not be offended. Yeah. That includes with this show. Yeah. And that concludes the first half of our fucking show. All it flew ready. by, man. Yes, it did. It fucking flew by. I want to yeah. thank everybody for tuning in to our YouTube special once again. Subscribe. Hit the little fucking bell if you want to, I don't know, hear a ding when we upload shit. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know either. We got a swag store. You go to happyhournewsteam.com, and up on the top, there's a fucking... Very top part of the, of the page. Whatever he said. Yeah. You will find our store. And if you enter the promo code HHNT until October 31st, you will get $5 off your order. Nice. So, nobody's ordered shit yet. And I don't <laughs> expect anybody to, because fuck yeah, you. Who the fuck would? <laughs> What's wrong with your friend? Ah, uh, he just had all his teeth removed. You gonna order? Uh, I don't know. I, his mouth hurts. He has no teeth. I no problem. We get pre chew food. Yeah, what? Pre chew food. We get for him. What? what pre chew food? Get food that pre chewed. We get oh, off truck. We get oh, for him. Okay, well, what do you got? We got roast beef. We got noodle. We got pork chop. We got all kind of food. You eat now. But, but, but uh, nothing. You eat now. I bring you pre chew food. Well, I bring you pork chop. He wants to know who chews it. How I know. We get on truck and pre chew food. It from GIG. Has dental surgery left you unable to chew? Have all your teeth fallen out due to age or some horrible disease? Well, don't worry, friend. The people at GIG Industries are happy to bring you pre chewed food. Individually portioned meals that have been pre-masticated for ease of ingestion. All meals have been chewed at least 20 times before being flash frozen to capture that fresh from the mouth taste. That's pre-chewed food from GIG Industries. The good idea, guys. GIG Industries is not responsible for any disease or foreign matters such as pieces of tooth, gum residue, or fillings. Do not eat frozen. Do not feed to animals, especially chickens.